back to Living Word Church here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It is a beautiful day as we record this, and I have another guest with me. I have my daughter Leah here today, and so we're going to talk just a little bit. Leah's in fifth grade. Leah, what are some things that you have had the opportunity to do in the backyard now? Oh, we've done a lot of that you normally wouldn't get to do on weekday mornings and afternoons. Um, we have a volleyball net now, so I get to do a lot of that. And me and my brothers will play soccer outside a lot. Um, and at the house, we can play games inside and just do some different stuff in there. And we've been able to go to some state parks and go hiking there. Yeah, so we've done a couple hikes to different state parks here. We have, I've returned a lot of volleyball serves over the net, and we played a lot of soccer. So that part has been good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, schooling at home, good. What's been fun about it, and what do you miss? Um, I guess I like schooling at home because I can just sleep in, um, and I can kind of go out at my own pace, but um, I don't get to see my friends like face-to-face, -face and... If I have any questions, there's not really a teacher there to ask. Yeah, so not seeing your teacher, not seeing your friends on a daily basis, that's tough. I'm willing to bet that the Thorson household is just like your house. And there are some positives about doing school at home, and there can also be some drawbacks. And I asked Aaliyah ahead of time, I said, uh, she said, what are we going to talk about? And I said, we're going to talk about forgiveness. And I think we need to talk about forgiveness a lot because we are all together a whole lot more than we are used to. Uh, we're usually at school, different classrooms, and here we're all together. I actually grabbed an, another table from church here and brought it home so we could space our kids out some so they weren't all together. And um, When we're together and spending that much time, it also means that probably we get on each other's nerves or we don't listen to one another like we should, or maybe we can irritate our siblings more than we normally do. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about something I went and picked up today. This is called Whiteout. And uh, the thing with Whiteout, this comes in a smaller, t this is like a pen. You take it off and shake it and squeeze it and then you can, you can cover up uh, if you write with a pen and need to erase it. But uh, when I was in junior high and high school, computers were just getting started, but we would type on something called a word processor. And maybe if your parents are older than me or your grandparents for sure, they would remember typing on a typewriter. And if you typed on a typewriter and made a mistake, it was stuck there. You couldn't get rid of it. It's not just like today where you can go into Microsoft Word and Excel and make a change and print out a brand new copy. And so people would use whiteout. And so every office had a big bottle of whiteout. You would go and you would cover up the mistakes that you made. And then you have to wait for it to dry. And then you would write over or type over it again. It was kind of a big hassle. It was a mess. Sometimes for me, I wouldn't wait long enough for the whiteout to dry. And then I would try to write over it. And it would just be more of a mess. So whiteout was good, but not the best. And I was thinking about how when we sin, when we irritate our brothers and sisters, when we're supposed to be doing our homework, uh, when we maybe aren't quite as respectful of our parents as we should be, that happens from time to time, or maybe parents, when we get frustrated with our kids and aren't as kind and patient with them as we should be, God says that he will forgive our sins. Two verses that come to mind. The first one is 1 John 1, 9. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then another verse that I thought of was Psalm 103, verse 12. It says, as far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions, our sins from us. God does a much better job of taking away our sins than whiteout does and covering up our mistakes. You can use whiteout and you know that you made a mistake and you try to cover it up the best that you can, but because of Jesus' death and his resurrection by trusting in him, he has taken on our sins and the Bible says then that they're not our sins anymore. And so when God looks at us through Jesus, he sees Leah and he sees Kirk as if we're completely perfect, as if we'd never sinned. That's pretty good news. That should make us smile. Yep. So, uh, be thankful you don't have to use whiteout, kids, for your papers and for your projects. And then we can also be even more thankful that Jesus 
is the one who forgives us of our sins and who cleanses us, cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Let's pray. God, we thank you for your great love and mercy towards us. We thank you that you forgive us of our sins and you do so in an amazing and rich and wonderful way. So help us to confess those sins to you and to others. God, help us to be humble and, and admit that we make mistakes and we need your forgiveness. Thank you too for that amazing promise that all of our sins go to Jesus and that uh, you look at us and see us holy and spotless and blameless. And because of that, we don't need to live in fear of you. We don't need to be afraid of you. We just enjoy all the wonderful blessings that you give to us in your love and through Jesus Christ. It's in his name that we pray now. Amen.